everybody on Instagram. Hopefully we're okay. Okay. Hi, this is Dr. Pat. Welcome to my YouTube. I'm going to come back out, guys. Okay. Okay, there we go. We're live. Let me see if you can get me back on Instagram. Guys, we just hopped on. We don't have it you know, all together because Ashton actually is at the property. Uh, our Vision House 2 wanted to give you a bit of an update because um, we want to pray for Ashton's family as well. Yolanda's getting us back on uh, Instagram because they have had a death in the family. We want to pray for Ashton's um, uncle, his dad's brother. I think it is his dad's brother or his dad's uncle. Uh, pray for him. Um, they are, Lana showing me something. I can't tell what she's telling me. Okay. We hold on guys. Thank you. We hopped on to give you an update because, um, we always like people to see what's going on. Hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook, YouTube. We not bothering clubhouse with this, but this is an update for what's happening in South Africa with the vision house two that we're believing God for, which means it's going to accommodate more missionaries, more of our orphans, more kids that we can take for, um, the vision weekend. Yolanda, remember you're supposed to add him. He's coming in. And Yolanda walked away. I'm like, okay. Okay. I was like, what about Ashton? Okay, guys, share right quick with everyone. Hello, Instagram. People hop on right quick on Instagram. You're going to get to see what we are believing God for. We have two projects going on at the same time. We have um, the Eco Village at Jerusalem, and we have the Mission House, the Vision House, where we're bringing the kids, and this is going to enable us to house more kids. This is the one that we have the deadline on, so everybody can understand. Our deadline is the 28th of this month so tick 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 we're counting down the time and ashton should be coming on for those of you on instagram you can't see the split screen and what kind of background did ashton do here how how are you doing a background at all when you're outside okay um but for those of instagram you kind of just have to listen because you ha can't have a split screen so there you go okay that's a nice haircut you got dude there <laughs> this is what it looks like when you just left the barber huh yes ma'am <laughs> You've gone from being, uh, we having to bleep off for you to be Samson and your hair to grow back after getting over COVID to now having a full head. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to help Instagram out and turn the camera this way to Instagram so Instagram can see you. How about that? I may not be the best, the best cinematography, but uh, how about that? Yolanda's helping if me. If you look on the bottom of the phone, you should be able to flip the camera on Instagram, though. Because right now, Instagram is just seeing the back oh really that's me so oh, on if the I, bottom. That, yeah on the bottom of your screen on the phone uh -huh. you'd like two arrows but I, but in my mind i'm thinking if i'm looking at instagram guys bear with me if i'm looking at you this way and i turn the phone your way can't they see it <laughs> see yeah I can't really see it so you like to go to Instagram and see what we see? Okay, well, anyway, I know you're rushing. You're getting to the airport. I told everyone about what's happening with your family members, that there has been a death in your family, and we're going to be praying concerning that. Instagram, I'm really trying to help you out here. <laughs> um, also, uh, is are we on gallery view? I just wanted to just double check if, I could, if we could just double check if we're on gallery view. Do you see both you and I on the screen now? Both of us on the screen. Yeah. Wonderful. So does that mean awesome. gallery? Does that mean gallery view? Huh? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So everybody, Ashton's given us an update. I know South uh, Instagram is so hard to try to get this to be seen, but I'm trying That's to hold fine. it where Yolanda says hold it. Okay. Okay, Ashton, give us an update. We know that the, everybody knows that the 28th is the deadline countdown time. And today was the D-Day for the first half of what we're believing for, for the deposit. And then the clock starts ticking after today for the 28th. People have given generously. This is an, an accountability report. They've given generously on Clubhouse on, I think, what, Sunday. And then again on, um, was that Monday night with the, Dr. Shirley Clark's room and with the help of Dr. Delane and everything kicked off from the very beginning with the two rooms, with um, the two houses with Prophetess Francina 
And then of course, Apostle Eckhart uh, bringing us into Clubhouse and people gave in the very, very beginning with his room. And then of course, we went to Agape and people have helped there. So uh, can you show everyone how, is there any way you can show the wall the wall, I don't know if you're in the backyard or where, but how close the wall and how we share a wall and why we need this compound as a missions compound, a compound for our children, a compound for uh, missions, missionaries coming and giving us the ability to expand it where we already have our Vision House One. So where are you now? What, where, tell us where you are now, help us understand. Okay, they, I think the garden service was here, it looks like. Um, so I'm just gonna turn the camera around. So you're at the Vision House One, you're at Vision House One. Yeah. So I don't have the keys with me, unfortunately, but you can see the, um, I mean, they cleaned up, the garden is cut and there's the pool there. Um, you can definitely see the garden was done here. So I just wanna give, give everyone an idea of where the houses are, um, you know, just, just so you can see why this house is important. And then I'm gonna take you all on a little walk through the house and uh, bear with me it is incredibly hot so i might get out of breath in a couple of minutes so uh, yeah so this is the house the i'm just gonna do that there we go so this is obviously vision house that everybody knows um right here and uh the street obviously we're we're basically that's a corner uh, that's a corner plot and this is the estate the security estate down here so if you guys look here, this is where our vision house is. So you can, you can definitely see the new painted walls, the gray and things like that. And the new property is the second driveway here. So uh, let me explain something to them quickly. Those of you that watched on Facebook and Instagram and everything, you saw all the vision, uh, the bouncy house, the balloons, all the things you see us posting when we did the dedication, the kids come over. It's 12,700 kids, guys, 12,700 kids that we have to circulate through the vision house to have a vision house weekend where we impart vision into them. And for those that maybe are hopping on that don't know anything about the background, it started out with our vision house that we already own, that we only pay cash on for. But then Ashton explained to me that when we did our first vision house, they had to leave some of the kids behind because they yeah. didn't, have enough, didn't have enough room, the COVID laws. So I said, that can never happen again. So we wanted to, now our Muslim neighbor, Ishmael, is offering us to sell us his property. So now we can accommodate 60 missionaries, all of our kids, leave no kids behind, while at the same time, we're building out the eco village with the orphanages, the school, the clinic, all of that. Ashton, you say uh, from where we are at the headquarters, this will be our headquarters. The headquarters to the uh, to the eco village project is it takes about what, what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes drive, yep, 30 minutes drive. And so I want them to see also, if we didn't purchase this property for uh, the, the missionaries, for the orphans, we would never be able to grow. Like, well, somebody gets that, that's it, it's over. And he's selling the property without it being put on the market, without it being put on the market right. and selling it to us beneath, way beneath market value. But the challenge is we had a press deadline date of the 28th, so the clock is tick, 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 ticking. So I wish there was a way you could turn it sideways, your phone sideways so they can see how are you able to, you can see the proximity of the two properties touching. Now, that now is going to be our headquarters. When you pull up the headquarters for the missionaries, when they come over, the teams will be bringing in team 60 at a time. From the airport, Ashton, from there, how close are we to the airport? We're under 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes or so. It's not very far. And, and you then, literally, you get on the highway and it's just one straight road and you're at the airport. So then that one particular uh, township, Salisville and Actonville, where we had to leave some of the kids behind, now we'll be able to bring them all at one time when it's a vision week at the house, where we impart vision into them. We have doctors, lawyers, professionals that made it out of townships to impart vision into our children so the children are not trapped in a mentality of poverty. However, it wasn't enough just to bring them to the vision house and then they go back to a township. So we wanted to bring them out of the township. That's what led us to the eco 
pro the eco village project, the New Jerusalem eco village, where they have a taken them out of the slums and the poverty to their own community. Now, Ashton, we know you got a plane to catch because there's been a death in your family and you got to go to a funeral so they can see the proximity. Uh, later on, you can take a picture. That would be the headquarters. So all of you that have been giving, all of you that are watching, this is where you'll stay. When you come over, the other missionaries will stay there. The, the, the orphans will be here as well and the grannies and the grannies. And still our granny, when she comes out of the hospital, this is where she'll come to. Now let's go see the backyard so they can see uh, the land and what it's going to be like the, the land mass between the two properties where all the kids will have all that room uh, and some of you go back and look at the video on the vision week and it's time to do another vision one because remember we got 12,700 kids to circulate through our vision weekends so there's the wall you see the wall that was dividing the two properties let them see we're going to get rid of that old uh, above the ground pool see the wall there mm -hmm. That's, that's the property that we own, that gray you see over there. This, this is what we're believing God for. This is what you all have been helping us with, giving towards. You're, you're literally giving towards two projects at one time. The eco village with the kids. Uh, when Ashton, when they come back, we're going to come and, and air live like we did last week. So you can see the progress of that. Uh, all of this. So instead of just all of this land here, that wall, go back to the wall again, show the wall again. That wall will be removed and that'll be our own missions headquarters, our own compound for missionaries and for the kids. Children running back and forth. There's a pool on the other side, the proper pool. Uh, Ashley, can you just see the land mass around that property where you are, how far it goes? Yeah, so I'm just, I mean, this is the front. It's quite huge. Um, so I'm wow. gonna take a walk to the back. I mean, it's- All of that is the front? Yeah, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Wow, I that's thought that was front. All that space there. And if you go all the way this side. Many people that are watching are going to be, you'll we'll wake up in the morning, we'll have our start our devotions and everything. We'll be there with the kids and then we'll head to a 30 minute ride. We have our own vehicles. Uh, now that you all have all purchased, you all the ones that did it, all the money now stays in the ministry, goes back into the eco village. We are modeling the kingdom of God. So this is now the backyard. You can still see that wall. That wall is coming down. We call that property ours in the name of Jesus. Guys, we are almost at the halfway mark. The last couple of clubhouses that we did two days back to back yielded almost 40,000 US dollars. Look at that wall. We say that wall, that's a Jericho wall to us right now. That wall is coming down because we will own the property and the missionaries can come back and forth. The kids go on that whole compound. I, I, I want you to vision with me, a whole missions vision house compound. This is where all of the, uh, for the medical teams, the, we will be sorting out meds, just like for those of you that used to go to Haiti with us, at night we're counting up meds. When it's time for distribution, you have to have an open space like this. You think, imagine that Yolanda, right, with all the suitcases laying out when it's time for distribution. So you have a medical team, a construction team, an education team, all the school supplies. That will be our operating compound, not only for the missionaries, but for the kids as well. So um, this is the midway point. We're almost there. We got from now to the 28th, uh, countdown, the clock is ticking. Wow, Ashton, tell us a little bit about that backyard, how big that is. I mean, I don't even know how to describe how huge this backyard is. Uh, this phone doesn't really do justice, but I mean, the ultimate goal. Oh, he froze up. Once we've got this, uh, sorry, there we go. Can you see me, Doc? We don't see you, we see the house. Yeah. Uh, so basically, once uh, once we clear out here, we're going to flatten the ground here. And I mean, it's incredibly huge. And um, instead of having, I mean, between the two properties, we can have way more over than 60. If you really look at the size of this property. Um, and even, uh, Doc, and like, you know, we're talking um, about this, this little space here that we can convert basically into anything. Um, uh, you know, it could be equipment, storage, room, or whatever it is, supplies, rooms, or uh, bedrooms, you know, okay. there's okay. ample space on this property. But once we clear out this ground, um, 
and flatten it here along with down here. I mean, if I have to count the, if I have to put a car in here, I can easily fit maybe close to 50 cars, if not more, on this property, just on this part of the land, maybe even way more than that. So if we can fit over 50 cars on this property in the land, you can only imagine the amount of people that we can fit here. And just um, it's just, I mean, it's massive. In the open space that the kids are going to have to run and play and soccer and a uh, bouncy house, yeah. probably three or four bouncy houses. And, uh, and then uh, the biggest thing is we won't lose that property. It'll be ours. We don't have to worry about the neighbors complaining. We don't have to worry about, yeah. you know, it's a place to operate from. And then this is going to expedite things for the Eco Village. Why? Because when the teams come, we're not spending money at a hotel. The money stays in the compound, in the missions compound. And that money is allocated to Eco Village to provide more clean water, more houses, more, uh, you know, facilities for the widows and everything. The money goes right back into the village. It stays in South Africa. So the giving does not come to America. It stays in South Africa. So you can imagine, we wanted you to see um, it's our own compound and, and expediting the work because the resources instead of going to the hotel will go to the eco village. I see that right there. That could be another little guest house right there. You can close that out and make that a couple of bedrooms for our oh, widow. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Close that off and make that a living space. Wow. Okay. Well, next week, I know you're rushing to catch a flight. Let's see how close that is to that. And there's that wall. And I need somebody to decree with me that wall is coming down because we count this hours. For those of you that have not given and you've been saying, I'm trying to understand this whole thing. We wanted you to see, this is where we will operate from. This is where you saw the kids coming. This is where we bring the kids out of the townships to experience opulence, a gated community. Uh, this is where you will stay with the kids when you go over and it's a vision week. We are staying with them. But then during the days, we go do our missions outwork at Eco Village, which is about 30 minutes from here. And I see teams rotating and coming three times a year, the beginning of the year, about mid-year and the latter quarter of the year. And um, just 30 minutes from the airport, medical teams, construction teams, education teams, business teams, what an incredible opportunity. This is, this is, where we, this is the operating ground from here. And when the Eco Village is done in New Jerusalem, which is our first module, our first project, we will duplicate it in other townships and in other nations. He told us to go make disciples of nations and we're paying cash guys. I want everybody to know we're not taking any loans. We are believing God. We paid cash, $150,000 and you all watch all the painting being done and the gutting being done. And you watch all the children come. You saw the vehicles, children living like this guys out of townships. We're bringing them to this kind of facility to stay and to enjoy and to experience that kind of a life. You see how we have the corner lot. That's why we wanted to get the other property because of the corner lot. Well, Ashton, we know you got to catch a plane. They've seen that one already. We'll make sure that that's reposted again. The Vision Weekend is reposted. It's amazing how far back that land goes. Can you turn the corner for us right quick so we can see how far back that wall goes, Ashton? Yeah. Because it's, it's something for people to see the vision of what we're doing. And those pictures they see posted on Facebook today coming out of those squatter camps and townships uh, refugees from Mozambique, from Congo, from Zim, Zimbabwe, and coming into a community like this and having an experience. And the grannies, our gogos and our widows, we're taking them from the waste places. And then, oh my gosh, the building of the eco village and how that's going. We'll, we'll pick that all up next week when you all are back from Durban. But we wanted them to see the, the, the urgency of why we are, um, why we had to get this to extend, attach this and extend where we are so we can accommodate. We're not leaving any kids behind in Salisville, We're not leaving anyone. Mm -hmm. Any last words you want to say to those that are watching, Ashton? That yep. it's better because you've known longer than I have. You've been a part of this. You were, your parents were the ones that spearheaded this in the beginning. What life is like in Salisville where we're taking them out of, what those townships are like, what it looks like, what they're living with. You know, Doc, sometimes it, it's sometimes I get a little chuffed up and uh, that's because, you know, from them living in a structure that is so used to, um, you know, they're used to sleeping on the floor, number one. They're used to 
sleeping with structures where there's no brickwork, where it's just tin structures or corrugated sheets that are holding the structures together with stones placed on the top. And that is how they live. Um, you know, they sit on the floor and eat. And then to, for them to come into, um, into a facility or a building like this is a huge difference because they're sleeping on the best mattress. We're getting them the best sheets, the sheets that we, you and I use at our house. It's, we're get, getting them the best sheets. They're going to be ha taking a bath. You know, I was actually talking to um, one of the el uh, more elder kids. And, you know, the one thing they appreciated, and I thought it was so funny, was um, when they were over for the vision week, uh, for the vision week that we had. And um, he said, you know, sir, the soap that I used to wash my hands smelled so amazing. And I looked at him and I said, I looked at him and I said, oh, why did you say that? Like, you know, just, just tell me more. Like, you know, what do you mean the soap was amazing? And, you know, as, as a foundation, like, you know, there's certain things that you, you know, we try and make sure that they always have, for example, your toiletries and stuff, but we are giving them opulence here. We are not compromising on the quality that they use here. So when the kids were washing their hands, they were washing their hands with the soap that the, the, the people that are multi-billionaires in this country uses. It's that type. I just want people to get an idea because, you know, at the end of the day, we call something, uh, well, it's a liquid called sunlight liquid. So it's a little like a dishwashing liquid. You know, you use it to wash your hands and wash your dishes and whatever. So when they came here to the property for the Vision Week, we made sure we got them. Uh, my mom brought from our house and stuff, um, you know, all these fancy soaps and lotion. So when they washed their hands, uh, we had the teachers in there as well helping us. Uh, they were washing their hands with that soap, putting the, the fancy lotion on their hands. And you just see them doing this. But you, know, you don't really take into account or you, it doesn't really click or it doesn't really hit you what was actually happening. You know, why were they doing that? I thought, you know, maybe like they're wiping, you know, sometimes here they, they do the, some of the kids do that to dry their hands. But when I, when I spoke to the kid, uh, the one kid, and he told me and he said, so the soap was amazing. That goes to show what are we doing here from them coming and living in a place of absolutely nothing? And when I'm telling you, for all of you that are watching, when I say nothing, it means nothing. It means they sometimes have to eat the same food the whole week while we are eating, you know, while people everywhere are eating salad and you're eating your chicken, there are different flavors. And I saw dog make cornbread and all of that and greens and all of that, GLTC students which, you know, we're all dying to taste. But, you know, those kids are used to having their porridge every single day. And uh, for them to come here, and we gave them the best braai meat, or what we say braai, you guys say barbecue. So the best barbecue or the best braai meat possible. And they could eat until they were full. And, you know, for them to come into opulence like this, and for them to come into such, and just for them, for this kid to tell me, sir, the soap smells so good. It goes to show you just by hearing those words, what we're doing is being appreciated by them because they're not used to that. They, they're used to the, using the soap that just doesn't have much fragrance or whatever. And then they're coming here and they're living that opulent life where they're getting the best of everything. So I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Granted, it's amazing. Uh, we thank God for the vision week, but the thing that we want people to pay attention to the most, Ashton, is the education they're going to get now, the health care they're going to get now. They will now be yeah. in a safe community now. They, yeah. The essence of Christianity is wanting the same thing for other people that you want for yourself. That's what you're saying. And we, we desire the same thing for them that we desire for ourselves. We don't throw, we don't give them the crumbs off the table or lesser yeah, quality that's it. the very same and that's how missions has been done for so long in kenya they used to send used tea bags used underwear can you believe that we do first class missions and there are a lot of businessmen that are watching there are a lot of businessmen that are in clubhouse there's a lot of businessmen and women on instagram and i'm saying to you what an investment for your business to sow into the life of a whole community we just taught this morning God has given us faith in the kingdom of God is the resources to feed a whole village, to feed a yep. whole community, to feed a whole nation. 
he, he said to Abraham, through you, the nations of the earth shall be blessed. And the neighbors, Ashton, tell them was like, when, when we roll up in there with our vans, with all the kids, the neighbors are looking like, what in the world is going on? And that's what we're yeah. supposed to do. Let our light shine. Let our light shine. We know that yeah. you got to rush back to the, to the uh, uh, house so you can rush to the airport so you don't miss your flight. But <laughs> on next week, we'll be picking up, like, they're seeing what we call, we're already calling it Vision House. We call it Vision House. Two guys that are looking and listening and watching. Share this, share this, share this, share this with your friends. Uh, Vision House 2. Uh, I'm going to put this back up because Ashton's gone now. He's got to go catch his flight. 28, guys. What's today's date, Yolanda? We got, I don't know how many days left. We're counting down the days. Today is the 19th. So we got less than what? Less than 10 days. You know, we got nine days left. And uh, you can go to our website, patriciabailey.org, and you can donate there. You can share this with other people that you actually saw the property. We were there. Uh, the deposit has already been made. Half has already been raised. And we're literally counting down the days till we finish. We're going to have it. That wall is coming down. I need you. Can you just put this on the screen? Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. That wall is coming down down. Just, just say that to encourage me and to release it in the atmosphere. That wall is coming down. And then just say this, we call property 75 into the ministry for missionaries, the children, the headquarters of operation. Our doctors will be there. Our nurses will be there. Our teachers will be there. Our orphans will be there. Our immigrants, our widows, this is where we're operating. And then all of this is the facility to execute and to facilitate the work at Eco Village. And uh, Ashton, when you come back, uh, when you guys get back from Durban and we pray for your family right now, we pray for the loved one. We pray for your family in this time of loss. We take authority over that foul spirit. We prayed for South Africa this morning, Ashton, in case you don't know. We come against that mutation of the, the mutation of COVID that came out of India. We pray for India this morning as well. And we pray for your family, Ashton, in the name of Jesus and any family and distant members you all have back in India. We say that they will live and not die. And we pray for the family that the Lord, the Holy Spirit will comfort them during this time. We decree in the name of Jesus that all the things that you're making happen for these children, for the widows, for the immigrants, for the widows, for the orphans, for the immigrants, as we lead up to uh, Pentecost Sunday. This is a time of harvest. This is a time of increase. This is a time of great abundance. And the purpose of this abundance is to care for the widow, the orphan, the refugees. Father God, we thank you that we pray over Ashton's family, his father, his mother, and we say that they will have safe and churning mercies. And we decree that people will get saved in the family, those in the family that are in Hinduism, those in the family that may be Muslims. We pray that through this funeral, that they will come to know Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. So guys, that was just um, an update. When he comes back, we'll be out at Eco Village. If those of you haven't seen the clearing of the land and we're laying the foundation and all of the, the, um, the module houses, the materials have already been ordered and paid for. Uh, Prophetess Francina, uh, um, Apostle Eckhart, uh, Pastor J.B. Whitfield. It's just so many, if I start calling names, I'll be in trouble that have been a part of all of this. And so we'd like to give you an update right from South Africa so you can see exactly where your money's going. You can see exactly what we're believing God for. And more importantly, to invite you to come, please come. So we're looking at the end of July, maybe the 1st of August, where we'll start taking teams in, rotating teams. And there's a place for you at the Vision House. Just begin to declare and decree with us that property, we're taking it out of the hands of Ishmael and we decree and bring that house number 75. It's number 75, everybody. We call it into the kingdom of God because the Lord has need of that property. And remember, we're almost halfway there. Any donations that you give are tax deductible. Go to the website, patriciabailey.org. If you want to do cash app, it's just simply a dollar sign, Patricia Bailey Ministries. Dollar sign, Patricia Bailey Ministries. But the easiest way, the very easiest way, just go to the website, patriciabailey.org and donate and help us get to this deadline date of the 28th. Um, share this with other people. We're going to post on the on uh, YouTube and it's already on the website. You'll see the video of the Vision House 
of the eco village so you can share with other people so they can see what they're sewing into and for those that are that uh, that are donating once again we welcome you we welcome you we welcome you to come i'm just so excited about what god is doing i eat it i breathe it i live it i sleep it also too for those of you that watch this morning mornings have been sent to india we were able to help several families in india uh, through one donation alone was 10 families uh, we have two other families uh, that we're sending money to as well and this is what this is what ministry is all about is to prevent misfortune in the lives of others so we couldn't do that without you our partners and some of you have friends that want to be involved in things like this and they don't know a legitimate ministry that's actually doing this we've been doing it for 41 years in 147 countries. And you can check with Prophetess Francina. We send the receding back. You see the people actually buying the groceries. You see the evidence of your giving. As you watch the vision house, you saw the vehicles that you all helped to purchase. You saw the children there. You saw the beds that were there. Everything that you all have provided. And it's because of your generous donations that we're able to do what we're doing. So till next time, we'll hop on next week and give you a progress on the clearing. You saw the clearing of the land and getting things up and going at our eco village. But just want you to see the urgency of why we're pressing for the next nine days. If right now, a hundred people would give a hundred dollars, just a hundred dollars that are watching. If you go to the website right now and do patriciabailey.org, and donate $100, that would be $10,000. That'll push us that much closer. So what's the remaining of what we're believing for? That's that $90,000 that we're believing for. And if 100 people watching this a day, or even 100 people shared this with 10 friends, that's the power of synergy and coming together and networking. If you got 10 of your friends to give $100 towards this initiative for the widows and the orphans, and go look at the pictures on Facebook, do a little bit of networking with us, get the pictures of the townships. We posted them today so you can see the townships that they're coming out of and just send the video out. The video, we're gonna put that on Facebook as well. Grab the video and the pictures and just and ask your friends, just go to patriciabailey.org and donate. If a hundred of you would do that, just get 10 of your friends to do it. We're way beyond where we need to be. And we're moving even more and advancing with the eco village as well. It's so simple. You may be watching and saying, you know what? I need some seed in the ground for even Pentecost Sunday. You know, that's when we bring the first fruits. Some of you may want to bring your first fruits offering to go to the widow, the orphan and the refugee. Your first fruit offering to the widow, the orphan, and the refugee. What a strategic time to get seed in the ground. As in the Hebrew calendar, this time of the year is designated for harvest and for increase. And we decree an abundant flow that no good thing will God withhold from you as you walk uprightly. Again, you can simply go to patriciabailey.org and not only give the seed, but follow the seed as you watch and update where we are with things. And eventually, We'd love to see you on the field. And so this is Dr. Paley. Till next time, don't forget patriciabailey.org or cash app, the dollar sign, Patricia Bailey Ministries. And time is ticking, nine more days. We may hop on every day to just kind of give you a barometer update of where we are each day. But this one's just a little bit longer because we wanted to bring to you live right from South Africa. God bless you and we're out. Thank you for your donation by faith in advance in Jesus' name.